Hello, this is VGS, and we're coming to you with another video, and we're going to show you how to start a CDK for War Thunder to make your own anime skins or historic skins, whatever kind of skins you want to make yourself. And let's jump into it. First thing, you want to open up Google. It's, the link will probably be in the bottom of the description, just so you can just click that if you want to. And you want to type in War Thunder CDK, CDK download. I'll just hit enter CDK. And you want to go to this website right here. It's the Wikipedia page for War Thunder, but I think they own it or something. I don't know how this working. Kind of weird way to put your CDK on here, but even though I need to update mine too, so excuse me, so I need to re-download it too. So let's go. You click on here, and it'll start downloading down here. It's 275 point megabytes, so it's, it depends on how fast your internet is and all that kind of stuff. Even though I'm downloading a game right now, so my internet is kind of slow. So bear with me I'm just gonna uh, cut this part out okay you okay, you got okay so after you get done downloading the CDK it's down here you just wanna probably drag it to your desktop like I do and have it on your desktop like that and you want to uh, right click one as administrator it's gonna take a second to open up because it's gonna have all this kind of stuff and you wanna hit yes So I tell you a second, a second to, and then this pop up. You want to pick English or whatever language you have, it, whatever language. So you want to find out where your War Thunder is um, saved to it. So I might save it here. It's going to ask me, would you like to install it? Blah, blah, blah. Already exists. You're going to say yes. Then you're going to bring this up. You're going to say next. You don't want to create a desktop. Well, actually, I do want to create a desktop icon. I'm kind of going to take the one out of my other one. And you're going to hit install. So it's gonna start every single asset viewer thing that you can that you need to do a scan. You could also just download the uh, templates from random people if they put templates up somewhere. You can just get them, uh, go download it from them without having the CDK on your computer. But since if you're gonna be a, a scanner that does a lot of scans, you probably need the CDK. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And if you hear anybody in the background, it's probably one of the VGS members acting like a total idiot. But just try to ignore him. So after this thing gets done, it's downloading the Balling Cities. It's downloading everything in War Thunder right now. So it, it, takes a, it takes a second or two to get it all installed. And if you have it already installed, you can just don't worry about uninstalling it. Just reinstall it inside the thing and there you go. So, come on. So, I know this is kind of a boring uh, video. And then you get this. You don't have to launch the mission editor. That's how you do your own missions. If you want to create your own kind of work on the missions, you can just use the mission editor. Stuff like that. So, you just want to hit finished. Now, you can get rid of this. Drag that off. Okay, so, where I put my stuff is, is in this folder right here. And I have uh, work on the editor, this stuff right here. What I want to do is delete these three and put these three in now so I can know exactly what they are. So that's how you install the CDK and now the next step I'm going to tell you, uh, teach you how to get the stuff out of the CDK. So first thing I always do is just make a, a photo and just call it um, whatever tank you're working on. I don't have a tank I'm working on at this very moment. Oh actually I do the M18 so I'm going ahead and do the M18. And open up the War Thunder asset, right click. I always want it as administrator. You do not have to want it as administrator, but I always do. And this is going to pop up right here. It's going to um, lag for a second or two, depends on your computer and how fast it is. And I think I installed this correctly. I'm pretty sure I did. I installed this thing about a thousand times, so. It's going to take a second to load up everything that's in your game, like every single tree, every single bush, every single building, every single map, every single rock. It's going to take a second or two to load up. Okay, duplicated. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. That's all right. I um, you may have to honest. I mean, like delete the old one, delete the old one. You just delete the what on the CDK files out of your what on the photo. 
Okay, but it walked in, so everything's good. So now you got this. You're probably going to be up here. And it's not the, I think maybe this would be open if I ain't mistaken. I don't remember what would be open. But you want all this open. You want to go to the game rest thing. You want to scroll all the way down until you find the tank you're looking for. Alright, you're going to go to the tanks right here. And you know, it just moved on me. Oh god, there to go. That's USS saw ships, ships, ships. Uh, yeah, I'll change this. Oh, there it is. Tanks. No, yeah, tanks right here. Tanks on the tankers. Sorry about that. I kind of, kind of got lost on the new thing. Way up here on all these ships, but you know, I don't care about those. Play World War just on play with ships. So now you get inside your um asset photo. You got all these right here. You got the N5s, AOs, Cs, and AOs. So now you want to scroll down until you find the tank you're looking for. I'm looking for the M18. So I'm gonna keep scrolling until I see it. I could use a filter down here and type M18 and see if it pops up, which I'm thinking about doing because I think I passed it. And let's go back up a little bit. There it is, Super Hellcat. So now you're on the Super Hellcat. This is what you are looking for. There's a Super Hellcat and there's a regular Hellcat. Super Hellcat is for the, um, I think it's the premium one, if I am mistaken. But you can use it on pretty much anything. It's the same thing. So that's the Hellcat turret and that's the Hellcat body. So what you want to do is pretty much... That's the event, so you don't want that. You can't even color that. So what you want to do is get the body. This one right here. Come over here and select RGBA. Leave everything the same. Do not change any of this stuff. And leave it the same. And export to DDS. And what you want to do after that is go to desktop. Find out where you save that photo is. It's right here. You want to hit save. That's one down. Now you got to go to the turret. Scroll down, export, find out where the photo is located, click on it, and save. Now, in the last one, since you didn't see the gun, you probably wonder what kind of gun you can use. You can use the same thing as a Super Hellcat gun. It doesn't matter if it's called Super Hellcat or Hellcat. You can use a Super Hellcat gun for the M18 Hellcat regularly. Because it's the same thing. So, export, desktop, M18, save. Now, in fire is a little bit different. The video I'm going over how to do skins will not be covering the in fires because in fire is a little bit different than doing skinning because you use the red, uh, red, blue, and green channels and not colors itself. You use those channels. You don't make layers or not stuff like that. Or you can make layers for rivets and all that kind of stuff, but that's a whole nother video. So after you get done with all that. You pretty much done getting the stuff you need from the CDK, so you can just close it out, close out of that, and then you have your photo with your three things in it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like or comment if you need help, or join the Discord server for the support channel if you need help around the clock. Sometimes I'm on almost all the time because I'm always skinning. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.